is uh, running out of the building telling everybody, get away. And I look up and see this giant plume of smoke coming from the Pentagon. So we got over here, and this is what we found, the Pentagon in fire, on fire there. Um, still quite a scene of devastation out here. People really don't even know which way to go. They've gone away from the building. Now people are running back towards the building. Uh, just a scene of utter chaos out here. We've just received word that they are shutting down, have shut down the 14th Street Bridge and the Memorial Bridge shut down. The bridge is shut down. People are being able to pass by the Pentagon heading into the district, but there, there's no traffic going uh, towards 395, towards Richmond or 244. That's all shut down. Audrey, uh, if you would hold on for one second, we just also want to report now. The Associated Press now reporting an explosion has hit another building near the World Trade Center. We were speculating at that point whether it was a consequence of the original attacks. Now it appears to be another explosion hitting another building world, near the World Trade Center. Audrey, with regard to the Pentagon, the reports that we have received is that it, the plane may have impacted on that helicopter pad. And there's a small control tower there set up on that side of the Pentagon near where you're standing. Can you see any of any of the wreckage itself? Can you confirm that, or, or does it look like it actually impacted the building itself? It is not on top of the building, and uh, your description of a helipad seems to be what I'm hearing from people out here. And the fire crews are able to fight this fire from the ground, so it seems like most of the wreckage is on the ground right beside the Pentagon, and the smoke is just billowing from that side of the building. So that seems to... Uh, um, fit with what you're saying about that helipad. We also have heard reports that witnesses have seen the tail end of some kind of aircraft going into the Pentagon. We are still trying to confirm that information. Also want to point out that the Pentagon after Oklahoma City, like all the federal building security, was beefed up, beefed up though primarily against ground attacks, against truck bombers, more concrete barricades, and here now we have this attack by air. And of course, you'd also know that in military terms, uh, defending against a close and air attack is just about the most difficult thing to do unless you are standing there tracking these planes with anti-aircraft weapons at the ready. And, uh, you know, this is almost a very, very impossible situation to defend against, especially in the case when you're looking at hijacked aircraft with commercial markings coming in on civilian targets, even a target like the Pentagon, certainly not a civilian target, but a national security target. Very, very difficult situation to defense against as we uh, follow these develops. Audrey, are you still there with us? I'm still here. I'm watching what, the scene from, now, from here. What are they trying to get people to do? Are they just, at this point, moving them out into the outer reaches of the parking lot? What are, what are they trying to do with traffic and they, with the people coming out of the Pentagon? Okay, there's several hundred people that are still on the lawn of the Pentagon. It looks like now emergency crews are gathering everybody together, trying to get people in one big mass, and they are now walking towards the camera away from the Pentagon uh, across the street on the lawn there. Uh, the, the road is shut down. Most of the people are on the other side uh, in front of the Pentagon building. But at, least, at this point, it looks like there's a concerted effort to kind of gather everybody together and get them away from the Pentagon building. And there's a still a pretty major fire. I mean, I see flames shooting up like 20 feet into the air still on the grounds of the Pentagon. So this is far from under control right now. Yeah, describe some of the equipment uh, you can see. Where are they from? Who is responding to this at the Pentagon? What can you see? I see, um, I would say, 20 different emergency vehicles, ladder trucks. Uh, I see plumes of uh, actually fire hoses on the ground going, uh, shooting at the Pentagon building in large uh, volumes of water. You can see some now in your shot. Several volumes of uh, wa water coming up there as they try to fight the fire. And Audrey, are you within a shouting distance of any of these workers, or are they keeping reporters back a distance from the workers who are out of the building now? I, I'm going to try to get some people to come over and talk to me um, from across the bridge. They'd have to, there's like a six lanes of, uh, of dividing traffic. us. Right. right. Uh, let's go back to New York City for a second. The latest reports now from the Associated Press does say that one of those towers, this is World Tower Center 1, the second tower hit has collapsed. And now that's the second tower. We believe that was the one hit higher up. Uh, we do not control this camera. It's from New York City. But the Associated Press is reporting that the second tower has collapsed. We don't know if that's a complete collapse, a partial collapse, or whatever. We hope to see it soon. Once again, you're looking at Tower 2, and this was the first one hit uh, just after 9 o'clock this morning.
collapse certainly would not be a surprise given the level of damage in the fire and the fact that firefighters were unable to fight that fire because it happened so high up on the building. So it certainly would not be surprising if, if there is a collapse, partial or total. And once again, on the left-hand side of your screen, you are looking at the uh, Tower 2, the first one. This is all New York now. Michael, uh, Michael, if you can hear me, we just heard another explosion down at the Pentagon building. We just heard another loud explosion down at the Pentagon building just seconds ago. That's our Audrey Barnes, who is standing nearby the Pentagon, saying they heard a second explosion. Audrey, did you see anything since these other attacks have been aerial? Did you see anything flying overhead just before this explosion? We, we can't see exactly where, it, where the source of the explosion was, but you could hear it very clearly with a loud boom. And uh, I'm looking for another plume of smoke. I don't see anything right now. It might be still in that same general area where the fire uh, is burning right now. But you can clearly hear another loud explosion. I'm being told from people on the scene that uh, in Crystal City, a gas station is, uh, um, is involved in a major fire there as well. A lot of uh, fire equipment is being diverted to that scene as well. So this whole area, you can just see the, there's emergency crews still continuing to come here every second. Yeah, we should point out for people who are not familiar, Crystal City, of course, is very near National Airport, very near the Pentagon. It's this very modern sort of enclave with lots of uh, high rises and uh, shopping center there. So you're hearing now that there has been some sort of incident at a gas station in Crystal City. Is that correct, Audrey? That's what I'm told. I'm told a gas station in Crystal City is fully involved in a fire. Um, we just heard another explosion. And just from my vantage point, it did not appear to come exactly from the Pentagon, like perhaps a little bit across. So I can't tell you what it is. I'm still looking for a plume of smoke. I haven't seen anything new uh, from this vantage point. So, Audrey, you, you think that there's a possibility that the second sound that you just heard did not come from the, the point of impact or it, the Pentagon itself? It didn't sound like it, okay. but it was a, clearly a very loud explosion in this general area. And, and given the proximity of Crystal City to where you are, it perhaps might have come from that vicinity. Right. It's very near the Pentagon. I can't tell you exactly where, but it was a loud boom right at the Pentagon. Audrey, from where we're standing, from where we're watching, rather, it appears now that we can start to see the shell of, of something there. Uh, can you have any better vantage point on what may have, uh, on the type of, on an aircraft, to see any wreckage at all now? It seems like the smoke is dissipating to a certain extent. From what I, witnesses have said, they saw the tail of some type of aircraft go into the Pentagon building. I'm still trying to confirm that from somebody who's on the scene, but there's a couple of... Uh, people who are coming from the Pentagon building that I'd like to see if I can get some information about that. Sure, we'll give people you a second. People are really in shock out here. Oh, well, I'm local. certain of it. Just can you describe, Absolutely. you know, the expressions on their faces. We do want to give you a chance to try to talk to people what they were doing, what they heard, what they saw. But from what you can see, you just describe can the looks on the faces. Okay. Here, um, I'm just waving a gentleman over who was at the... Were you inside the Pentagon building when that happened, sir? Okay. First of all, tell us what you saw. You're talking with Fox 5. What did you see? Um, I was in the uh, remote delivery facility, which is the uh, area where they process um, incoming uh, deliveries and so forth. We heard an explosion, and then about 10 minutes later, something came over the, uh, the uh, announcement saying to evacuate the building. So all we heard was an explosion. Not, not, nothing dropped in the, ce in the ceiling or anything in the RDF, which is this building right here. I understand a plane has hit the building. so. No, you said you were inside the building when this happened. Yes, the, the remote delivery facility, which is a wing of the new Pentagon. So there's, there's parts of debris of airplane and stuff scattered along the road here. So, And then I just heard another explosion up there. So someone told me an a airliner hit the building. So Any, Anybody describe the plane to you? How large was the plane that hit the it Pentagon? It was a commercial size airliner. I'm not sure how big it was. The gentleman just said he was sitting on 95. Plane, plane flew very low over his car and hit the building and blew his win windows out of his vehicle. And he was on Interstate 90, 395. So, looks like everybody's in shock. It's it's unbelievable. I just I did, it's a dark day, very dark day, and I, I just heard an explosion back over that way. I'm not sure what that was either. So, I'm just trying to get home to my family and and uh, try to get let people do what they need to do here and try to get people out of the way and. Let the emergency people do what they got to do. What are they telling employees now? Did they give you any information over there about what you should do? No, they actually have. I was inside here. They had the gates locked. I was able to jump over the gate to get out. They're not opening the gates. I don't know why. I'm sure it's a security concern, but they stopped people from climbing over the fence. So I was able to get out, and I was just going to walk down. Somebody was yelling for help that they needed help, so I was trying to get down there. And then the uh, 
security people are moving everybody back. So they did, must. Did you see any fatalities at all? I anybody know, hurt? I could not see. All I could see was I couldn't even see part of the airplane sticking out of the building. It, uh, apparently, the tail piece is sticking out of the building, according to. That's what that was? Yeah. Uh, Lark and Michael, people are telling me the Washington Monument has just been hit. Uh, we're still trying to confirm that. We, we all heard the same loud boom out here, and we're now just kind of looking to see what it was. Okay, so obviously, Audrey, we, we'll be uh, looking into that or report someone in the background. We could just hear them telling this, you know, to the other gentleman that perhaps something has happened at the Washington Monument. We'll, we will obviously try to get you some information on that. So we're monitoring the situations there as they develop here. The situation of the Pentagon with the plane apparently now being described by witnesses as a commercial-sized airliner crashing at least very close to it. And there we see uh, the U.S. Capitol, which has been evacuated, and you can see it there. And uh, further down on the National Mall, we are going to right, check out. We're going to try to get a picture of, of the as a consequence of the original attacks, now it appears to be another explosion hitting another building world, near the World Trade Center. Audrey, with regard to the Pentagon, the reports that we have received is that it, the plane may have impacted on that helicopter pad, and there's a small control tower there set up on that side of the Pentagon near where you're standing. Can you see any of, any of the wreckage itself? Can you confirm that, or, or does it look like it actually impacted the building itself? A tail end of some kind of aircraft going into the Pentagon. We are still trying to confirm that information. Also want to point out that the Pentagon, after Oklahoma City, like all the federal buildings, security was beefed up, beefed up though primarily against ground attacks, against truck bombers, more concrete barricades, and here now we have this attack by air. And, of course, we'd also know that in military terms, uh, defend... He's uh, running out of the building telling everybody, get away. And I look up and see this giant plume of smoke coming from the Pentagon. So we got over here, and this is what we found, the Pentagon in fire, on fire there. Um, still quite a scene of devastation out here. People really don't even know which way to go. They've gone away from the building. Now people are running back towards the building. Uh, just a scene of utter chaos out here. We've just received word that they are shutting down. It is not on top of the building, and uh, your description of a helipad seems to be what I'm hearing from people out here. And the fire crews are able to fight this fire from the ground, so it seems like most of the wreckage is on the ground right beside the Pentagon, and the smoke is just billowing from that side of the building. So that seems to uh, um, fit with what you're saying about that helipad. We also have heard reports that witnesses have seen that they have shut down the 14th Street Bridge and the Memorial Bridge shut down. The bridge is shut down. People are being able to pass by the Pentagon heading into the district, but there, there's no traffic going uh, towards 395, towards Richmond or 244. That's all shut down. Audrey, uh, if you would hold on for one second, we just also want to report now, the Associated Press now reporting an explosion has hit another building near the World Trade Center. We were speculating at that point whether...